So at my side here, I have the Emotion V12. And uh, what is my thoughts about this one, the final version, when I've been riding with the prototype for more than one month? What do I miss from that prototype that I don't have here? And what you'll find better on this one than the prototype? If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. <laughs> Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love UCs, PVs and everything that have a E of electricity, this is the place for you. And at my side here I have the Emotion V12 and if you follow me for a while you know that I simply love this wheel, I really enjoy to ride with the prototype, my first impressions was not the best ones because also they was releasing new updates to the V12 and when they've done those updates and allowing us to config this wheel in a more profound way if you want it makes a lot of difference with the v12 but since i have it that is few things that i'm not so happy about it and i would like to see exactly the same that we could find on the v12 prototype but we'll talk about it in a second let's now focus in the changes that you'll find and looking to the um, the front light is definitely brighter than you'll find on the prototype the prototype was not bright enough but now you don't have that problem anymore all these plastics they looks a little bit more refined than the previous generation when we talk about build construction is the most refined wheel that i tested until today the v11 it's okay it's one of the best in my opinion anyway but when you put side by side with the v12 it's not comparable so if you are concerned about heating with this wheel and heating with the v11 is like like i said on my review of the v11 the v11 is like having a motorbike and you definitely don't want to heat that against the floor if i have to heat with the v12 i'm not so concerned about it because all the build construction it's there another thing that i think it's a little bit different first of all is here on the pedals they have painted this in black i want to see how long it will last with this color they've done exactly the same with the v12 or in this case with the v11 when they changed the color of the stand so the stand on the prototype was gray and after they paint in black they've done exactly the same here with the pedal hanger where is now completely black and before was gray i didn't mind it to see but it's just to say to you that is slightly different when we talk about the grip tape that you find on these pedals it's the best grip tape that they use until today at least that i can remember i don't like grip tape pedals i prefer to have honeycomb pedals but definitely this feels better than on the prototype that i use you have this rubber very very thick on the sides that will never allow you to scratch the surface of your wheel so definitely a plus and another thing that I think they change I'm not completely sure obviously I don't have side by side I'm just talking by memory is um, these pedals they feel a little bit more curving on the inside of the body of your wheel so definitely something that I enjoy one thing that I have to say that is completely completely upgraded it's the handle and the handle they change the shape here on the bottom okay but this handle is definitely not a handle that you can basically lift with one hand you could do that with a prototype and i've showed this on the video i believe but in this case because they made it to be much much closer to all the surface definitely you can do it so you need the two hands one to press and one to lift it up before i said to you guys that to write or to to use it you needed to just turn it on the opposite way and in that way it was going to be more comfortable to ride and to grab your wheel it doesn't happen anymore because they changed the shape in here so you can definitely grab in this way and it's more comfortable to your hand than before so a big big improvement and it feels really really premium okay and it's going to stay in place at least it feels and it's not flimsy at all like it was before so just to point it out and before you could always see this like jumping around when you was riding and that was a concern that i had another thing that they change is and this is just a cosmetic one here the button now is in orange and uh, it's more easy to see it one thing that i don't like so much is where is it because many times you can press it and turn it off your wheel another thing also that i noticed that is much better here than in the prototype is the screen so the screen now it's much much easier to touch and to go around on your menu the 
prototype, it was a little bit laggy, it was not bad, but definitely is much, much better than this one. When we talk about the speakers, they are very similar to the prototype, as I can remember. It continues to have a lack of bass, so definitely something that I would like to have seen better but they didn't really improve in that area. Another thing that I can show to you guys, let's just turn on this wheel, it's the lights. They, like I said on my, my review of the prototype, they was too dark. I can see they are slightly lighter now, but they continue to not be very, very visible and you can give me your opinion. So here are the backlights and I don't think they are really, really visible. So I think that it could have made this plastic much more transparent, but they didn't want it for cosmetic reasons. So here are the front ones with the blue. So they are much more visible, uh, is not even comparable, but I will definitely like it to have seen this much, much lighter. The button continued to be very responsive. Like as you can see, the power pads here, the pads that they put on the sides, definitely here, like you can see, they are thicker, but hmm, they could be much thicker or they could have done a different solution. And if you see in here, the way that I use uh, the torque pads that I'll do a review really soon, I use them very, very high because this wheel to really come alive, in my opinion, needs pads on the top. You need to have a lot of control on the top of your wheel. Definitely, if you want to ride with it, at least in the beginning, until you are fully used to this wheel, I recommend you to use the pedals on the highest position as possible. It's less nimble, but it makes a lot of difference just to get used to a 16 inch if you are used to use 18, 19, 20 inch. But this wheel, I think is going to be a very, very good seller. Now let's talk about the things that I'm not so happy about it. The first one is I had to do an update on my wheel and uh, he basically messed up with the sound wave. That was one of the things that I loved the most about the V12. In this moment, I can try to show to you guys, but at this moment is not good. It's not possible for them to do a downgrade. So I need to wait for the next update to have once again the sound wave working in a proper way. What they also told me is that uh, really soon, maybe in the next in the next update, we will be able to choose the sounds that we want on the sound wave that should be going forward. And I'm going to press them to do that because obviously I want my sound wave back in this wheel. But that is another thing that we'll talk in a second that is the most uh, annoying thing for me. And you'll understand why the reason. But first of all, let me just show you. You heard? I don't know if you guys can hear because I have the microphone here next to me, but I can't use it. We tried to do two up updates. The first one, it feels like a Super Mario sound. <laughs> this one now is even worse. So. I'm waiting for the next update to solve this. The thing that I miss the most on the prototype, and obviously I need more time to ride with this one, they've changed the split um, settings that you can do between the braking and the acceleration. So when you was on the prototype version, you could go from um, minus 100 to plus 100. So basically what he was doing is on the front of your pedals, you could adjust to go up and down, okay? So if you wanted plus 100, you was going, for example, if it was the acceleration, you was going to push the pedals up when you try to accelerate. And if you was using minus 100, it was going to try to push the pedals the maximum as possible down when you try to accelerate. If you remember when I've done the review and many person have already done reviews and have the same idea and, um, and the same opinion is that this wheel, it doesn't have a lot of torque to break. So, to get that, you have to hack your wheel if you want. So you have to go on the settings. And that was one of the reasons why in the beginning I was not so happy about the V12. And after when they released this update, I was really, really happy about it because on the braking side, I like it to use with a minus 10. So what I was doing is I'm dipping a little bit more on the back of my pedals when I want to brake. So it gives me the possibility to curve a little bit more aggressively and I'm not allowed to do that anymore. I need to check it a little bit more to see if on the braking side going plus, it makes the pedals dip more. I didn't have the time until today to really test it out because I was trying to just solve the issues 
with the software that I could solve because the main reason why I was trying to do some updates on the V12 was because I couldn't adjust the split mode it was there but I couldn't select anything now I can but my uh, sound wave is not working but I'm sure that they are going to resolve that issue I really believe that the Emotion V12 it's a wheel that is going to sell a lot and we'll do a video about that because of all the wheels they are coming out that also I need to do some videos about and give you my opinion about that. Another thing that I want just to point it out is the, the charger. So the first one was ridiculous 1.5 amps but obviously that was a prototype I don't miss at all. Ah and it's true also when we talk about the door it was really flimsy the charging door and now it's it stays in place, okay? It is not going to open when you are riding. Another thing also that I noticed is the mud guard. It seems very similar size, but it's pointing a little bit more outside of the wheel. So definitely you should not have mud coming up. Something that was happening quite easily or dust quite easily on this wheel. So I'm curious to see when the winter comes a little bit more heavily in the UK, but definitely now having the same port to charge as the um, Gotway wheels is definitely an update. And another thing when we talk about, obviously, you see how easy it is to press that button. But another thing that is important to talk is about safety and uh, chargers. I'm also always concerned about chargers. And this one is a 2.4 amps. They told us why they don't sell it or they don't come out of the box with a bigger charger, so five amps, it's just because they have more issues after to send this uh, abroad for us to, to receive our wheel. I have to say that this charger in build quality is the best charger that I had in hands since I ride electric unicycle. So definitely something that I'm really, really happy that they also have improved the quality of their charger. If you are searching for a wheel that is well built, the V, the v12 is definitely the wheel it's heavy okay so don't expect that is a light wheel but this is going to be in my opinion what you you call light wheel in the future of the electric unicycle i said that many months ago and it's happening and i will do another video about that but if you enjoyed this video don't forget to comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and i hope to see you in the next one